I'm going to show you a couple of real stupid things. You're going to say to yourself, why are you showing me this? This is so ridiculous. And uh, the answer is because it really helps you. It seems so stupid, but it goes by all different. It goes against everything you've probably learned in the past. But the reason is, is because it gets you moving all over the neck. First, what I want you to do is I want you to play major scales on one string. So when I'm playing an F scale, let's go close up real quick. So when I'm playing an F scale, I'm going to go slide up, and then I'm going to jump. Okay, so I'm, the jump, the slide is with the first finger. And then I'm, when I jump, I'm gonna go from my little finger to my first finger. Down, downward, I'm gonna go slide with my first finger. I'm gonna jump and I'm gonna go from, from first finger to the little finger. Now, why is that important? Well, I'll tell you why. Because when you're playing and soloing, I find that it makes your soloing more fun to be jumping all over the guitar neck. Well, if you watch Wes Montgomery, uh, Joe Pass too, you know, those guys aren't playing in positions. They're not playing a song in one position or even over a chord change. They're all over the guitar neck. And I found that it just makes it more fun. I don't know why it's crazy stupid. But when I'm playing this scale with one string, it gets me used to shifting my positions. So in the heat of improvisation, Get the idea? So, I don't know why that's dis distorted. Um, but anyway, you get the idea. So, you're jumping to even familiar chord shapes. You know what I mean? Like when you're playing over complex uh, chord progressions, a lot of times it's, you know, you don't know all the inversions of chords in one position. So it's, you just kind of shift around to what is familiar with you. Well, if you have the ability to do that, it works out great. If you haven't practiced moving around like that, it's not so great. So let's practice doing that. So the benefits of playing a scale on one string is also not only gets your hand moving, right? But it also makes you think about the notes of the scale. Now, it becomes a pattern after a while and you can do it quite easily. So the pattern again is, let's I'm gonna start here in the first fret. I'm gonna go and slide. Now, you could, if you wanted to, play it all with hammers and you're just playing one note, that's cool. Then you're gonna shift and back down, you're gonna go. So. So that's one of the first things to do. Play it up and down the neck, really good for you. It, and across the strings on all the strings. And it gets your hand moving in time. Now that's the other thing, don't, don't play it like this. Don't go. Wait for 20 minutes and go. I want to one continuous. Playing all different fingerings. Ah. OK, 
Okay? Yeah. So play it in time. Really important. And you'll find that it's fun. It's kind of weird, but it's fun. All right. Now, the second thing is let's play a major scale across the neck. And what we're going to do is only play two notes on a string. So I'm going to start here in the note C. Let me go close up again. Here's the note C. So I'm going to go C, D. Then I'm going to go E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. B, C, and backwards. Now this time I'm not going to slide, I'm going to go. Backwards. And I'm pulling it off and using hammers. All right, I know what you're thinking. Rich, you got way too much time on your hands. You know, do something constructive. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is really going to help you. Number one, it's going to get you playing all over the neck, getting you used to moving your hand like this. And also, you're going to know your notes, okay? So very important. So when you practice these scales like this, or like this, that's a good thing, okay? You'll learn what you're doing. So uh, what notes are in the scale? So again, if I'm playing a blues, I don't know. So you're playing all over the neck. For me, I think it's more fun than trying to play things in one position and try to really make some music that way. I don't know. It just works for me. So let me know how you like this. I will talk at you later. Adios. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.